Hi, it's Dwyer. DwyerBoxingNews.com. DwyerSportsBetting.com. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Let me say what many in the mainstream press can't say following this ridiculous display by Shannon Briggs at a pre-fight press conference involving Vladimir Klitschko on the eve of the Klitschko-Alex Lipe fight, right? This is not the way to do it. Now, I'm all for fighters showing up at post-fight press conferences after a fight has taken place. Had no problem with David Hay showing up post-fight at the press conference involving Derek Chisora and Vitaly Klitschko, right? If you show up post-fight, you're not disrespecting the champ's current opponent. Right? This is the chance of a lifetime for Alex Lipe. Nobody, in my opinion, has the right to show up before the fight. And then to make the claim that the fight is a non-fight. We all love the sport. We're all custodians of the sport. We want to see these fights succeed. Financially. Right? I don't want fighters showing up to pre-fight press conferences telling us that an upcoming fight is a non-event and that the champ is a bum who is cherry-picking opponents. To me, that doesn't help the sport. More importantly, it's disrespectful to the opponent. Post-fight is different. Post-fight means that the opponent has already had their chance that the fight has already taken place, that people have already bought the fight, then you can show up like David Hay did and say, hey champ, what about me? When do I get my shot? Right? That's a long boxing tradition. Now Derek Chisora interjected himself in David Hay's private conversation, as private as a conversation could be at a press conference, with then heavyweight champion Vitaly Klitschko. Okay, fine. I blame De Derek Chisora for that. But what David Hay did was on the up and up. What Shannon Briggs did was not. You know, Briggs even gets off the line where he says, I'm glad ESPN, an American sports station, is going to carry the fight so people could see how terrible the champ is. I didn't like that. Right? Let's allow the champ to have his fights, right? Confront the champ afterwards to say, what about me? Put me on your dance card. But don't diss the opponent. Alex Lipe did nothing to warrant getting dissed. Understand, he went to Europe and beat an unbeaten Dennis Boistoff, who many people were talking about, right? Alex Lipe has earned this match the old-fashioned way by beating a tough opponent, tough unbeaten opponent, right? No one should show up and say, I'm the real champ, you're a bum, you know, champ, when are you going to fight me? You know, why are you fighting these bums? Post-fight's the place for that, not pre-fight. Somebody needs to take Shannon Briggs aside and say, what are you doing? Let's also go one step further. And I believe this point needs to be made. I know heavyweight boxing here in the United States has suffered some setbacks. But if any American heavyweight is going to show up to any press conference to try to challenge Vladimir Klitschko, it should at least be an American heavyweight who's among the best right now. Right? Even though I'm a skeptic, I have no problem with an unbeaten Deontay Wilder calling out the chat because at least Wilder's unbeaten. I have no problem with Brian Jennings calling out the chat because at least Brian Jennings is unbeaten. Right? Tony Thompson, Tony, <laughs> you've already fought Vladimir Klitschko twice. 
Uh, if I saw Tony at a Vladimir Klitschko press conference, I hope it wouldn't be to call out the champ. I would hope Tony would be on the undercard. But the point is, only fighters with the right to call out the champ should be able to do so. You can't be a fighter who got your head beaten in by the champ's brother. Then be missing in action for months and then show up at a press conference and think that you have the right to call out the champ. You know, to, to Shannon Briggs, I say stand in line. Right? Boxing's a global sport. I don't mind David Hay calling out the champ. I don't mind Tyson Fury calling out the champ. Right? I don't mind Deontay Wilder. I don't mind Brian Jennings. But let's get real. Who's going to call out the champ next? Eddie Chambers? I mean, come on. You know, <laughs> let's get real. So I thought the Shannon Briggs spectacle was ridiculous. I thought the fact that it was pre-fight and not post-fight was unfortunate. Let's show respect to the guy challenging for the heavyweight title. Right? If you want to call him a bum after the fight based on a bad performance, okay. Don't do that before the fight. Let's give guys a chance to fight. Okay? And please, have some reason to be calling out the champ. Understand, there are a lot of contenders who want a shot at the title. If you've already held the title, like Briggs did, if you've already fought guys and gotten spanked in the past, Right? If you want to see a beatdown, I believe it's Briggs against Lennox Lewis. Pretty bad fight. Right? The point is simply, if you're Shannon Briggs, and if you want to earn the right to even show up at the champ's press conference to call out the champ, at least beat some of the legitimate contenders out there in the world today. Right? If I see you beat Brian Jennings, if I see you beat Deontay Wilder, if I see you beat Tyson Fury, okay, fine. Go ahead and stalk the champ at post-fight interviews. But if you haven't beaten any of those guys, what are you doing at the press conference to begin with? Let me hear from the boxing fans, the boxing hardcore on this. I thought the protocol was bad. Call out the champ post-fight, not pre-fight. Right? Also, if you're going to call out the champ, have some credibility. Right? I... I let me hear from you. Leave your comments for us here online and visit us at another site, gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.